Hi again folks, it's Matthew here again, and this time Rodney is still the champion, but this time he had a decent card chart in the money card with uh, winning over 24000 with winning $25,200, and today he once again, he has elected to take on Alan Burns. I didn't get in, I feel like I was just here. What? <laughs> oh, okay, I was, okay. Since Steve ended up leaving, unfortunately. And you guys know how to play, so let's get to the game. We're loading Yay. in the cards. Good luck to you both. Good luck, Alan. Good luck. First question goes to you, Rodney. Rodney, we asked 100 top business executives. If your applicant arrives late for an interview, would you still hire him? Would you still hire the applicant? How many of these top business execs said they would still hire the applicant even if he was late for the interview? Nah. Nah. Well, it depends on the circumstance. If it's any excuse, I don't think they're going to they gonna hire them. So, I'm going to say the low number, 20. Two zero? Yes. 20 of 100 top business executives said they would hire the applicant even if they arrived late for the job interview. Or for the interview. A uh, Alan higher or lower than 20? Uh, I'm going to say it's a little bit higher. Going higher. And the actual number of these top indices actually was so higher. It is 26. It is just a little higher. And Alan, your card is a 5. Uh, let's change it. Okay. The 5 is now an ace. Lower than an ace. A 10. Lower. Taking a chance. Lower than a 10. A 7. Oh, What's that? Freeze. Okay, freeze and not giving Rodney a chance. The first que and the next question is yours, Alan. Alright. Oh, this is going to be a gut buster. Alan, we asked 100 married women who are on a diet. And we asked them, have you eaten food in the bathroom so your husband wouldn't know you were cheating on your diet? How many of these married women said yes? They have eaten food in the bathroom so their husband wouldn't know they were cheating on the diet. Okay. The bathroom isn't the greatest place to go to for that. That is just kind of strange. Um, I'm going to say... Oh boy, I mean, how many crazy people are there out there? There's a lot of crazy people in this world. I'm going to say 38. 38? Yes, 38. 38 of 100 married women say they have eaten food in the bathroom so the husband wouldn't know they were cheating on a diet. On their diet, anyway. Rodney, I'm afraid to ask, did your wife ever do that before? No. Okay, good. No, because the answer is lower, I think. All lower. <laughs> the answer number of these married women who have done this stupid thing is... 21! It is lower indeed! Ronnie, is a, Ronnie, your card is a 4. Higher. Higher than a 4. A 5. Higher, Higher than a 5. A 10. Alright. I see a freeze. Thing there, so that's what I'm doing. And Rodney, the next question is yours. Rodney, we asked 100 mothers who have a millionaire son. Does your son still live with you? How many of these millionaires, how many of these mothers say yes, their millionaire son does still live with her? Matthew, all I gotta say, mama's boy. Anyway, I'm gonna go with. I'm going to go with a low number, Matthew. I'm going to go with 25. 25 of 100 mothers with the millionaire son say the son still lives with her. Alan, higher or lower than 25? <sighs> higher. Going higher. The actual number of these mothers who say the millionaire son lives, still lives with her is? One. It is not higher. It is lower. Just one.
Okay, Rodney, you still have your 10. I'm going to change it. All right. The 10 is now a queen. Lower. Lower than a queen. A jack. One for the win. Lower. All right. For the first game, lower than a jack. A four. Rodney, you've done it again. First question of round two goes to you, Alan. All right. Alan, we asked 100 single women. Do you, which do okay. you find more interesting, a troubled man or a happy man? How many of these single women say they find a troubled man more interesting? Um, that could be either way. Some, some of these girls live for trouble. Uh, 31. 31? Yes. 31 of 100 single women say a troubled man is more interesting. Rodney, higher or lower than 31? Good answer. Troubled man. I'm going to go a little higher. Going higher. Ronnie, what would your wife say to this? You want a uh, uh, happy man. Oh, good. Yeah. Yes or no, really, saying I'm going to say a trouble man is more interesting is? 30. It is lower, not higher. Alan, you missed it by one. Good job, Alan. And Alan, your card is a nine. Change it. Okay. The nine is now a king. Lower. Lower than a king. A six. Uh, higher. Higher than a six. An ace. Lower. Lower than an ace. A ten. How many points do I have to go? So you're freezing. Yeah, I'll freeze. Okay. Not giving Rodney a chance. Oh boy. Ronnie, we asked 100 men. Do you think the women have forgotten how to be romantic? How many of these men say yes, it is the women who have forgotten to be forgotten how to be romantic? I hope not. <laughs> I, I hope, hope not, not either. I hope not. I'm going to disagree with that statement and say that's a low number. I'm going to go with 35. 35 of 100 men say it is the women who have forgotten how to be romantic. Idiots. Alan, higher or lower than 35? Hmm, that the women forget to be romantic. Uh, higher. Go on higher. And the actual number of men who say the women who have forgotten how to be romantic is? 61. It is much higher. And Alan, you have your 10. I have a 10. That 10 is going to be changed. Okay. An eighth! Lower! For, to, for the tie of the match, lower! A jack! Yeah. And in this round, only three cards are dealt out. First question goes to you, Alan. First of three. All right. Uh-oh. Alan, we asked 100 married men. Have you oh, necked boy. with your wife in a parked car? How many uh -huh. of these married men said yes, they have necked with the wife in the parked car? Oh, boy. That's interesting. Um, 38. 38. 38 of 100 married men say they have necked with their wife in a parked car. Rodney, I won't ask your case. Higher or lower than 38? Uh, I'm going lower. Going lower. The actual number of these men who say that is? 70. It is higher, not lower. I guess those people are more daring than we thought. Alan, your card's yeah. 10. 
Ten, get rid of it. Okay. Ten is now... An eight. Seven plus one. Lower. Lower than an eight? A five. Higher. All right. For the championship, higher than a five, a queen. Alan, you are a giant killer. But Rodney, you have nothing to be shamed for. You are leaving us with $59,300. Oh, God. Because you got $100 more for winning the game. And Alan, here we go to the money cards. You start to the bottom row, five hundred dollars of betting money. Where your bet rate costs three cards. Move to the second row, six hundred more of betting money. Fifty dollars win bet. You get to the top card, the big bet. You must bet at least half. And if you play it right, you can win seventy-three thousand six hundred dollars. And you get one joker for making it to the money cards. And here's five hundred dollars, Alan. Good luck to you. All right. For five dollars, Alan, you start off with a three. Let's go all higher. Betting it all. Higher than a three. A six. One thousand dollars and a six. Uh, change it, please. With one, two, or three. Two. Okay, two. The six is now a four. Okay, uh, how much do I have? A thousand? A thousand dollars. 800 higher. Okay, hold him back. Did you say 800 higher? Yep. $800 higher than a four? A queen. 1800 and a queen. 1600 lower. Hold him back again. 1600 lower than a queen? It is another queen, a push. No win, no loss. Okay. We're moving to the next row. Give you 600 more. You now have 2400. And a queen. 2200 lower. Okay. 2200 lower than a queen. A three. 4600 and a, a three. 4500 higher. 4500 dollars higher than a three. A nine. 9100 and a nine. I want you to play this. Okay, with. Number one. Okay. And the nine is now an eight. Seven plus one. You have ninety one hundred and an eight. Thirty five hundred higher. Big chance. Thirty five hundred dollars higher than an eight. It is a queen. Twelve thousand six hundred, Alan. You must go to at least sixty-three hundred. Do you want the queen? Yes, I do. Okay, twelve thousand six hundred. You have you have sixty-three hundred at least to bet. I don't know why I have this feeling that it's going to be an ace or a king. Uh, Ten thousand lower. Hold him back. I don't blame him. There's something Ten thousand tells me it's an ace or a king, dollars it. lower than a queen. A four! You could have gone all in, but you did good. 22600 for 200 from the game. $22,800. Well, at least these money cards treat me a little bit better. <laughs> okay. One chance at the card with the dollar sign. You win 70 grand. Uh, number four. I hope it's there. Is it four? No. no. Two once again. <laughs> Eighty thousand. It'll be our jackpot next time. We're out of time for today, so I'll see you guys for the next one.